Hi, it's MD Pirate, and we're back again. We're going to carry on with the Worms Ultimate Mayhem Challenge mode. Now, the last one we did on the last video was Navigation Challenge, so we'll move on to Crate Collect Challenge. So, I'm assuming this is just going to be one of them going around collecting some crates. See how quick you can do it. Uh, hopefully, we'll do it as quick as possible and try and get on to the next one. The ones we've done so far have been, have been well, some of them have been harder than others, but most of them have been fairly easy. So this time we'll we'll give it a go. I think we're just gonna have to let's have a quick look. Ah uh, yeah, I think we can sort of use anything that we uh we can or we need to. So we've got one jetpack, so we really wanna do this as much as possible without it. I think we've got a grappling hook as well, so that should come in handy. But obviously any any time we don't have to use it, it's probably better. So let's just see if we've got any more on the floor. Nope, I think they're all up there. So we'll look for the highest and we'll go for this jetpack to see if we can get at least what we've already knackered out. Well, that's gone well. Come on, at least get one with a goddamn jetpack. Let's try and go over it at least. Now, where do we need to go? So they're all literally straight in front of me, so we should be able to go around there, around there to get them free at least. And where's that fourth one? On the tree. Right. Well, let's just go this way anyway. Don't think my jetpack will make it up that tree. So we won't try. We'll just scoot across this way instead. Get. Oh no, I didn't see that. Right, I may have just failed this already. Uh, I failed to realise there seems to be a big gap there. Which there is. Unless you get more. Ah, we got. That looks like we got a limit of them. That's okay. So we'll try and get this tree one first. Grappling hook, I've not really done much testing on this game. So I don't know how it's going to fare, but we'll we'll give it a go. Well, that's not brilliant, because I'm going the wrong way. Right, which swings you? Right, so that's swinging us. Whoa! Too far. So that should be okay. Click, and we're down. And then I'll also, while I'm up here, whoops, oh dear. May as well use the grappling hook to get over there as well. Go for the highest point, make it a little bit easier for us. Swing! Huh. Can we jump for this one? Nah, we best not. Can we now though? Whoa! We've missed, we have actually missed. Oh dear. That was terrible. We've made some pretty bad mistakes throughout the uh, the story mode, etc. But that was a... A quite a big mistake. I'll try again, and I'll also try not to fail this time. Well, let's go this way instead. The safe route. Woohoo! Not don't think we're going to be in the the time to be honest, because we took a while to get that last one. Uh, it took a bit of time messing about, looking about, but we'll we'll carry on. See what happens. You still got some coins anyway. You just don't get as many. Uh, oh, that's not too bad. If we had fallen off there, we'd have beat it. That's a shame. But, oh well. Next one. Ha, ah, deathmatch one. Let's have a quick look. So it looks like we're getting in some, some normal Worms games now. But obviously they're sort of against the clock. And I'd guess instead of your normal game where the time is obviously counting down, uh, this one is going to be counting up, I would say. This looks quite a cool map. Hmm, a castle. Here are the enemy. I'll kick their ass. He looks like he's an EGT target next to that. Hello, Mr. Bunny Man. Right, so what have we got then? So we've got a shotgun. We've got, they're on 50 health, which means shotgun's going to kill them as long as I hit them twice. So that's what we'll go for, I think. Scoot around that mine. <coughs> you can get a pretty decent sort of range shot with this thing, even though it's a shotgun. As long as you hit them pretty much spot on. I'll tell you what we'll do though. Is that gap? Yeah, there's stairs. Just to make sure. 
we'll go a bit nearer. Kablam. Hello, time's still counting down. Not normal from 30. One thing I always think with these time challenges is I'm wasting a lot of time by having to watch the crazy crap at the end. Now, I don't normally mind, but obviously this is time, so... I don't want to be losing any time, really. Let's see what they can do. Oh, there we go. The cluster bomb. The only weapon they seem to know how to use. Granted, quite a f well, I was going to say effective with them, but not really at all. More health? Come on, we don't need health. Stop wasting me time. Right, where are they? Hmm, what can we do from here? Come on! Jesus, now we've fallen, now we've lost a go, and it's all... We're not doing very well here, at all. This is terrible. What is going on? I also got some weird frame rate drop. When I started the game as well, and it's loading up. Some reason never done it before, the, the frame rate just dropped to like, 8. It's ridiculous. I don't know what was going on. And yet again, also, the sound is still not working. Now, I did say that we'll give them a chance to sort it out, and I'm, to be fair, I think they've had long enough to sort it out now. So now I'm, well, I'm not particularly unhappy, I just think that it should have been solved by now. And just in case you don't know, oh crap, get rid of that bloody... What's the friggin' hell's the button on this one game to do both at once? It used to be space, but obviously that's jump. I'll just waste it. Yeah, this this sound issue I'm talking about, it's not it's not sort of everybody. Uh people with I know it's with G thirty five Logitech because that's what I've got, but I believe it's most, if not all, seven point one surround sound headphones. There's some crazy issue which doesn't seem to have been resolved yet. Hopefully it will be because you literally can't hear any sound except the cut screens in the story mode and the little screen when it loads, which is rather weird. But we'll we'll cope. I don't really need particularly much sound when we're recording these anyway, so we'll get over it. It's always nice to hear the little weird things the worms have to say though. Come on. The other thing in the moment as well, which I won't talk about too much because I've already done a video and this is obviously not that game, but. Uh, the GTA 5 trailer comes out in three days. Or oh, it'll be two days in a couple of hours now. So that's something to look forward to. But as for this, we could have really done with that jetpack to get up there. Let's just see where they are. If we one right, right, right up the top. How far will this thing reach? Hmm, not far enough. Not far enough. Can we get one? We should. Be able to come on, don't get stuck there for God's sake. Come on, well, we're not gonna make up to him. Whoop, whoop, is that gonna land? Yeah, <coughs> whoops, I did not see that there. But Jesus, ah, it was a dummy. So, where do we go from here? What have we got? Not much time left. Let's just go for the rocket shot. Try and do some damage, hopefully. Get a bit of fall damage as well. I'm not sure if we're going to get him with 50 there. Ah, just. There we go. 52. Marlin takes a dirt nap. He does indeed. I don't actually notice. I don't think I have. If I've got a sniper or not. I could have sat over there near that barrel. And just wiped him out. Again with his crazy cluster bomb shots. Let's see, what have I got, not that, I've got an airstrike in one go, let's just try, this isn't my greatest weapon but let's just give it a go, look at that, not a bad shot, definitely if he'd have knocked off there he'd have got definitely some fall damage, don't know if it would have been enough but it certainly helped, but he didn't so we'll not dwell on the past, let's give a nice opening there though, so we should be able to blast him free from there. Ah, oh, there we go. One second. Kaboom. Cluster bomb. So if you guys have played this, uh, if not, have you been watching my videos? What's your, f what's, what do you like better about this? Do you think the story mode's better? Do you like the challenges? Multiplayer? What? What's your favourite bit? It's been out for a little bit of time now, so 
we should be able to make a think of pretty fair fair judgment on the game. Uh, I personally don't particularly have a favourite between the story and the challenges. Story mode was cool, but it tends to be sort of all death matches. Depends what you're into. I like a little bit of variation sometimes, so that's why I think the challenge mode's pretty cool. Gives you something to, a bit different to do. Plus, obviously, the times are different. You're working to try and beat your time rather than just trying to quickly complete it before the time runs out. Woohoo! We have a winner! And that one was. We made a few mistakes. We should have done it a lot quicker than we did, but it gives you a lot of health, so they're obviously sort of trying to say it is quite an easy one. So, Deathmatch 2. Five minutes, did we beat the last one? No. Let's go. Uh, I do know, I believe, Worms and Golf has just come out as well. <coughs> if anyone's got that, played it. Is it any good? Is it worth getting? Let me know, and if it is, I'll, uh, I'll take, I'll give it a go. Alright, so it looks like we're revisiting a story mode map now. I believe it to be one of the earlier story mode maps. But we've, we seem to be on the opposite side now. Uh, from what I remember, I think we started off down there and we had to work our way up, whereas this one we've started up and we will work our way down, which is probably better. It's always an advantage fighting downwards and upwards because uh, I can hide, they can't see me, and I can just fire stuff over the top and it's, it's easy. Uh, it's easier to get down to them than it is to sometimes get up to them. So that's pretty cool. Let's just have a look at that see how much damage has that done. Yeah, it's going to take quite a bit. Exploding worms used to take up quite a lot of damage in the older games. Doesn't seem to be as much on this one, but maybe that's not such a bad thing. Has he got the... No, I thought he might have just hit that barrel and then poisoned us both. Let's go. I don't even know what weapons we've got. Gas canister. Don't think we've used one of them yet. We may... Let's give it a go now, shall we? We've got one, we may as well use it. Oop, another mine there. Is this one we can set the time on, I wonder? Don't think it is. I don't know how far this thing reaches, so we may have just made a big mistake there, but we'll we'll get as much further away as possible. <coughs> now I'm hoping, but I don't know, it does something a little bit different than the poison arrow. I hope. One thing I've read though, people seem to be a little bit annoyed about. Which kind of makes sense, is the poison arrow seems to only take the worms down to one health, and then it just constantly stays, it doesn't seem to kill them. Now granted, one health is not a lot, and if you push them or whisper in their ear, then the worms are going to die, but still the point of you sort of wasting wasting the go where the worm should die. Don't know, I'm not really that fussed, because you just say, with one health it's not exactly hard to kill them, so I can cope with that. <coughs> So not quite worked out what that alien abduction's all about. I'm not sure if it just gives them random health um, every go. I'm not too sure. Looks cool though. Let's get in it and hide. I notice we've got them stupid bloody wing things. Which if you've been watching my videos, by now you know I do not like. Mainly because I can't use them. I end up in the sea half the time. Oh no. Green worm has kicked our ass. I shall take revenge and kill. Come on, let's have a go. Where are we? So, who have we got left then? Got him with 10 health, I'm not too concerned about him. I've got him over there. So, can I wonder how far this will reach? Not that far. Maybe if we get a little bit nearer. I'm surprised it won't reach. Surprised it won't reach over there. Let's go to there at least. Try and evade the sea. That should do it. Don't slide. Wonder what'll happen if I shoot. Oh, um, oh crap. Um. Right, we're gonna have to. Hit. Oh, I didn't even realise that I ran out. I only had I have one bazooka, two bazooka there. I thought I had, well, more than that. We had unlimited, but that was my plan. Shooting from that upwards. But that did not happen. There he is. His famous cluster bomb. 
Does that see anybody? Uh, don't think so. There's a lot of crates. Might actually try a uh, sneak. Was there one just dropped just just over here? Was the? Have I gone the wrong way? Somewhere over there. No, let's just kill this guy. Let's just get out of the way. Hello. Kaboom. Oh, that wasn't a bad shot. If that thing goes off. Yeah. Awesome. Let's see what damage we did there. It's got to be 100. 32? You what? How did I hit him with a baseball bat? In the head. Next to a mine. Explode him on a mine. And still get only 32 damage. Hmm. That ain't good. Now I may, if, I don't know if I've got worm select, but I've not actually used that yet, so I'm a bit concerned about pressing the wrong button and ending up missing it and knackering it up and whatnot. I haven't got it anyway, because I don't really have any use for these worms over here. We've got 40 seconds, we may. Could skip the go, but I'm not sure if it's going to be the worms go next that I want, because I haven't been paying attention to what numbers they are. Well, we've lost him anyway, so that makes no difference. Number three. In the story mode I played, number three always seems to get uh, killed quickly or taking the damage to everybody else or just generally having a bad time of it. So he's keeping up the, well, what should happen there? Number three dead all the time. Has he just knocked himself through? Is he still up there? He's done some damage. Yeah, is actually number one's go next. So we're going to use the dreaded, is it Icarus? Icarus potion. I'm only going upwards this time, so. What? Come on. Up, up. Hey. I'm getting slightly better with this thing. Oh my god, we've fallen. Maybe not. Come on, land somewhere. Ah, you god damn you. Let's just land here. I don't particularly like killing myself, but. Ah, oh, no, it's dropped through. But Jesus. Oh, it's all gone wrong. I was just going to drop it there and destroy both of us. But now I think he may get the last laugh. Go on, shoot me. Ah, oh, he didn't. Hopefully he survives. Good. Should be his go next. Hoping for some sort of airstrike out of this crate. Oh, look at that. Superb. Unfortunately, we are going to have to sacrifice you for the greater good. But oh well. Sometimes these don't seem that effective. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but they just... They don't. I mean, that's going to be effective. He's in the water, but they don't 100% seem to do as much damage as you'd possibly think they'd do. I think they're more tactical. I think if you can use them like that just to even take a few worms down, health down, to get them to a point where the next go you can kill them in one go. When they when they start with sort of a hundred health, it's very much about making sure that sort of every go, you try and at least take fifty off. From fifty and under, you normally find to kill them in one go. So your best trying to very hard is to get it under fifty. So your next go, you can kill them. That's the way I look at it anyway. Yeah, hey, oh, looks like dinosaurs back. Here we go. I'm sure you guys remember this one from the story. Right, so we're getting more weapons now. That's pretty cool. How many of them have we got? Right, unlimited bazooka. Let's have, ooh, where have we gone? Jesus, let's have a look around. So we've got quite a few few guys up on height. We'll go for this one first. Try for a bit of a long range shot. Perfect. Ooh, what the hell happened there? Is there a mine there? Something happened. I'll take that. Ooga Boog that takes a dirt nap. Goodbye, my friend. One thing that's missing on this game, well, I certainly haven't seen it yet, is the. What's it called? Uh, the blowtorch. Now, it may not be obviously as useful, particularly with the way that the 3D game is out, but it'd still be pretty cool to have it. It'd still be a. Uh, I still think it'd be useful. There's quite a few game like maps, like even that the one with the castle and stuff. 
sort of blowtorch your way through through the castle wall to get in there. I think it'd be pretty cool. I think it's a shame that it's it's not there if it isn't. Um, what the hell am I pressing now? Oh, and if it is, then I just haven't seen it. Trying to sneak past that. May as well get the health while I'm here. Come on. Right. I probably think bazooka. Well, we've got a few, and I know that if I hit him pretty spot on, we should do some serious damage. Yeah, 50. Oh, hang on a minute. Just remembered we haven't actually moved. Now, that is a mistake you should not make. I put myself on high ground, somewhere easy to get knocked off from. Uh, and he'd probably deserve to die if he died, to be honest, because... That is just a stupid place to put yourself. Luckily he didn't, but he could have easily done. I should have jumped back on the grass, stayed out of the way of the water, because we all know the worms hate water. God damn you, landmine. <coughs> right, where are they all? So we've got one on 40 over there, one on 40 over there. Got a sniper. How many did that say we've got? We've got one. I may... Hmm, I don't need to use this on now. Can I see him? No. Well, let's just go for this guy over here. We can see him at least. And he looks happy with himself. Goodbye. Hopefully that knocked him into the water or killed him or did some damage. Yeah, that's pretty lucky. Can I remember what damage the sniper does? Can I remember? If, well, obviously I can't now. Um, but I can't remember whether it's 60 or 40, but obviously it's 40. Hang on a minute. Is that computer player using some sort of decent weaponry? Granted, he fucked it up and managed to get stuck in a tree, but... He's still, um, still surprised. <coughs> so what we'll do for that now is... May as well use our jetpack to get our worm over here. And we'll try and blast him into the water. Take a little bit of revenge. Will that reach from there, do we reckon? No, I don't think it will. Let's place this instead. <coughs> Stand well back. Out of the way of that, preferably. And that mine. Now, obviously, with, with that, I'm sure we've been through this once already. Uh, but obviously, with dynamite, if you're trying to blast them into the water in a certain direction, obviously put it on the opposite direction as you want them to go. So as it explodes, it'll push them that way. Fairly simple, but... I'm sure mistakes have been made in the past. Come on. <coughs> oh, he's using normal grenades now. This guy means business. It's not often you actually get some sort of a proper fight on your hands with computer player worms. In the challenge modes and etc. anyway. I tend to find, not with all of the worms games, but with some of them, the difficulty seem to go from easy as in you'd struggle not to win to sort of that was a bad move because we're not going to make it we're going to have to cancel that um, to that hard that every shot they have is just absolutely spot on perfect I mean th this point of the challenge and I used to love playing them but they, they seem to have in more recent games maybe levelled it out a little bit well I don't know maybe it's just people get better or people get worse I suppose Jesus that's bright that's always been one of my favourite weapons up. Holy hand grenade. Ridiculously powered. Big blast radius. And you should do some serious damage every time. What the hell? Go and miss. Ha ha. See what we should have done is use our sniper up there, because I'm not sure if I've got a gun I don't think I've got a homie missile. What I might do is at least... I'm not sure I'm going to hit him for me. Is that going to get him? Hmm, yeah. So we should be able to at least get him down. So one, hopefully, with that. God almighty, they're fighting back now. So, there goes number two. Um, unfortunately.
I'm waiting for this guy. I want to go and get some of these crates. Might as well. So we've got this crate here. Airstrike, that's nice. Bubble Trouble. Don't really want it. Now I'll get the other crate first. Just in case this one's got some sort of explosion or crazy stuff in. What the hell's global warming? Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, how fast is that going to rise? Is it constant or is it just a bit? Because I didn't think about that happening. Oh well. Let's go for. Oh crap, we've only got a couple of seconds left. Two. We got it last second. Should hopefully finish it off for this. Goodbye, my friend. Oh, hang on a minute. That better have taken off 20 health. Yeah, 25. I think we did that quicker than the. I think it was. Was it 8 minutes on this one? I'm sure we didn't. Must have done it quicker than 8 minutes. Plenty of fireworks, we'll find out now. Come on! Yes. Not that far off, considering it. So, what are we on now? Death match 4. Now, I don't know what's going on now. Are they just all going to be death matches? Is this, is this sort of. Is it gone halfway through to the death match? I don't know what's going on now. Or maybe there's just a few. Right, so they've got 100 health. They all seem to be pretty much that way. First one we're going to go for is that guy there. Hopefully knock him into the water. Yep. Superb. That's one down already. Can I hit anybody else? Hmm. Let's at least give it a go. It's wobbling about a lot. Ah, oh, we hit him. That'll do. Get this guy out of the way so hopefully he doesn't get knocked off into the water. <coughs> Now we obviously have got two at the top, so I'm hoping it's giving me a jetpack. He, he, or she is ready for action. So I quite like it when the worms actually, the well, the, the um, computer worms start using decent weapons, or at least better weapons than just a freaking cluster bomb. We may as well, while we're here, at least take this guy out. I'm hoping it's going to shoot through that gap. I'll aim sort of there, so hopefully. No, I was going to. I was trying to blow the barrel up as well as shoot at him, try and get a bit of double damage, but that just did not work, unfortunately. Always worth a go though. You can do more damage. Give it a go. Now, one thing uh, with my character, if you've got anything you want me to put on him, make him look like, then let me know, and I'll I'll stick it on him. Goodbye, my friend. He was a pirate. Now he's some weird bunny, skull-handed, um, strange person. But I'm sure that you've got plenty of good ideas. You can put him, put you, um, you can change him into whatever you want, really. I do not mind. Oh, he's a bit far to be starting to go up there, but we can at least let's try and get a little bit of damage with this guy. So we're going up there. So I think, I think if we just shoot sort of that way a bit to give it a little bit of time to come back. Yeah, that should be pretty good, that. Go on, knock him off. God damn it. I saw him for a little bit more than that. I was hoping he'd go flying. Because this level can be can be won or lost pretty quickly. Um, all it takes is, obviously, because there's, there's hardly any flow and it's all on height. All it takes is one worm to be like hit a little bit. And he's into the water and it's game over. Because no matter what health you've got, you're not surviving a dip in the water. I haven't even looked if we've got a jetpack yet. Hopefully we are. So where's this guy positioned? Ah, he's actually quite high up. I didn't think we had the worm this high. Hmm, not high enough though. So we have got a jetpack. So with this jetpack we'll go all the way up I think. We'll go right to the top. So as I say, it's easier to go down than up. Come on. You need to be careful positioning up here. And what I'll do is... Ah, what have I actually got that I can get him with? Hmm, poke isn't going to... I want to try and clear him off the edge, but I'm not sure if we're going to get him. 
Yeah, look at that. That is a serious fall. Death on impact. Goodbye, worm. Right, going for his grenade. Who's he aiming at? Is he aiming at that guy at the top there? That was a brave shot. Stupid, but brave. Another thing I've not tried on this one yet is blowing up um, like a, a health crate at the same time as a worm. Let's see if I can actually hit from over here. Oh, too high. Um, which I've not tried. Oh, that's perfect, actually. So I'm hoping the next guy we've just uh, seen up the top, I can shoot at him. Blow up the health crate as well. Do some more damage. Injure some more worms. And it'll be all good. Where's he going now? Oh, he's going up there for me. Hopefully it's number four's go next. Again, I didn't look what he'd been last. Because I keep forgetting to look. No, it's number three. What should we do? Ah, oh, let's just give this sheep, bloody sheep a go, shall we? It's a bit hard to direct this, because I can't see anything. Until you actually point, and then you end up swinging the wrong way. Hitting into a building. We should be able to get in with this, hopefully. Whoops. Kaboom! From 125 health to nothing. Goodbye and good day. So that's another one done. That was quite a good one, that. And I say it's one of the more risky ones because if something goes wrong, something's going to go wrong in a big way. You can get wiped out pretty quick on that, so I'd advise you all to be pretty careful when you're doing that one. Five minutes, ten seconds, we're getting close to these times. Death match five, but not actually completing them. So what I think I'm going to do, let's have a quick look. We did quite a lot last time, but they were, uh, they were quite quick. So what we'll do is we'll leave it at death match five, uh, and then we'll come out with the next video. We'll start that one. Obviously by the looks of it, it's looking like the, the bridge level... Don't think we've played that in story mode yet, so that might be something new. Team 17 times 10 minutes, so I think it's going to take us about 10 to 12 minutes maybe, or say 9 to 12 minutes, but as for this episode of the challenges, uh, thanks for watching.